things are popping off. Mio is basically training using this guard as a training dummy to do whatever gun attack she wants to do based off of the shows that she watched. Tomo is creating like the great sea of red, like parting the great sea, doing some Moses shit with her sword. Emma's going off too on everybody. And oh my god. Sophia Bulga, listen, listen, this might be one of the few times or actually there's a lot of different enemies where I might shit on the hero too, but the few times where I'm rooting for the villain because Trash Smokey sucks. And he did have a huge, you know, final explosion, nuclear bomb attack at the end. Apparently it wasn't even gifted by the goddess implying that he just made it himself, someone else. I'm not sure, but Sophia Bulga completely humiliated this guy during nighttime by the way when he's supposed to be quote unquote invincible now makoto right now is in a very interesting situation because he is about to meet hibiki or he actually has but he's wearing this new sentai outfit which is mio's hobby and hibiki she has her bikini booba outfit the classic girl rpg game end game gear where you're just wearing a g-string but it gives you so much stats why because the goddess of this world right she thinks she's behind that she's all for beauty and everything that's in vain so at least the goddess gave us some cracked outfit that's one dub for the goddess and now hibiki doesn't know who we are but we know who hibiki is this is gonna get pretty interesting let's begin today's reaction fight on hero <laughs> Shiki! <laughs> they think we're really cosplaying? Yeah, we're not Makoto. Or Master. Wait. Usually just Wakasama is good enough. What what do you what do you mean call me larva? It sounds like you have some kind of masochism right now. What do you say? You want to be stepped on? I uh, you you're master to me and you need to refer to me as pathetic little warm larva. Okay. It's a cool name? I don't know, when I hear larva, I'm thinking like worms or like, you know, pupae or just like, you know, maggots or stuff like that. But I guess it's a reference to something else that he mentioned, an old army name, huh? My bad, my bad. <laughs> Senpai's a hero, man! Yes. Oh, voice changer. That was Mio's voice! How did she... How did Mio make the suit? Wait, wait, wait. Even the voice acting when we turned the fucking voice change on. That was Mio. All right. What did he say? Oh, sorry. I was blanked out. I was too preoccupied thinking about Hibiki's titties for a second. What, what, what did he just say? I've come to save the hero according to an agreement with the goddess. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Ancient? The future. <laughs> Introduction names. And we are? What are we gonna be named? Power Ranger? Sentai? He's gonna have to come up with some fucking hero name. What is he gonna be? <laughs> White Warrior? <gasps> no, the girl! <laughs> It's fine, we're stronger. <laughs> mana matter? No mana matter? <laughs> it took down a dragon? Who is he referring to? Who did he fight before? That back end? Not in this suit. He's talking about a different fight where he used that move, but not in this suit. That backhand took down a dragon. The only dragons we fought is Tomoe and uh, fucking uh, Mitsurugi Lancer, right? Who is, what is the reference here right now? Is it just Tomoe? Okay. Looks like he was into little boys more than, uh, you know, Hibiki. I don't know. He's a, look, look, look how excited he is, bro. He was like shitting on Hibiki, but it's like, you whore, don't you have any shame wearing that? And like, bro, you're wearing a fucking gimp suit yourself pretty much, but he likes, you know, Makoto more than Hibiki. I know, it's just a matter of power, guys. I know, I know. No, he's not against Demon Commander Eo. Eo is up against Kamen Rider, bro. No, he's the one in trouble. Oh, Shiki. 
You guys better fucking enjoy the Ashiki moments right now because this is the closest you're gonna get to having Overlord reactions on this channel. And yes, I am gonna stall and wait and wait until season 5 announcement happens. I don't give a fuck if the movie's coming. I am waiting until my channel grows big enough to the point that I can milk the series for what it's got when there is a release date for season 5. So this is the closest you're gonna get to Ainz. <laughs> あの程度の相手なら援護などまず程度ってえ、いや、だわ、エグザクトセイムタイム。<笑><笑> What's going on? <laughs> Shiki is just so funny. He puts a barrier up. He's like, if you leave that, I'm gonna kill your friends, but let me, you know, now defeat your enemies for you. Okay, bad guy. <laughs> he thinks I'm a bad boy today. Did Hibiki even get a chance to fight? Like last episode. Like she stripped down. Io was like, the fuck you wearing? And then, like, did we even fight or did Makoto just show up after the end? I'm. She, did she get beat up? Was there, like, one encounter at least? Because I'm just realizing the fuck is she just bringing out this final form and now she can't do shit? She ain't doing nothing. Maybe there was, like, a little bit of clash, but, like, goddamn. <laughs> Maybe we're saving her fight for something else. Yeah, let's go, Larva. <laughs> Tenacity of Kettle. Oh my god, he's kind of racist. He thinks beefiest. Yo! Shiki is so badass! Oh my god! It's like stages of power. Oh! It reminds me of what Makutu did when using the lake shot arrow when all his rings got sacrificed. Oh my god, dude, he's so imposing. Okay, Minotaur got hit. He's still surviving, though. Alright, he over says Makutu. Okay, Shiki's got it unlocked. Still no mono matter or anything that we usually use. I guess we can, right? So Makoto is straight up locked into the skill sets of this Sentai suit and he won't use mono matter or anything else that could trace him back to his identity originally. So in this form, it's not in our best interest to use any moves that, you know, we originally have. The warrior's resolve. Damn! I do love Iwo like this. He's like a fucking warrior, right? He's like a warrior of respect, fucking warrior, this fucking mentality. Pitying their death would be an insult. I will see them in Valhalla. It was a bit sarcastic. I don't think we give a fuck. Oh yeah, Iwo used this on Hibiki last episode. Half open seven. It's the 13th steps he was talking about before? I might have to fight someone in the future, so I don't want to reveal my cards. Who is this someone that he's hiding an identity to? Rona? Is that it? Goddess? It's kind of obscure. Rona or the goddess? Probably the goddess? Endgame wise, because like if it's Rona, it's good to know that we should hide our identity from people that already know us. But I guess it could be Emma. You think we're gonna fight Emma? Come on now. I would like to fry her up in a bacon though. Mm. Beyond the hero. And that's the craziest part where Eo can only think about a hero. But it's like, no. Think beyond that. Goddess. Beat her ass up. When's that gonna happen? Oh my god, I forgot the fucking goddess plot too. Remember, she's having a talk with that guy right now who's causing a ruckus or something. And he's like, she got so scared of him. That's What's going on with there? I wish we could have a scene there. Selecting <laughs> killer move. What do we got? Alright, Claymores? Oh fuck, it's happening. 
Maybe the dwarves helped us with it. What else do we got? The shoots an anchor? <laughs> like grappling hooks. What is the soundtrack? Is this sent is this common writer like Sentai soundtrack remix right now? I've never seen it, so I don't really know, but like I'd imagine there it is. It's sad that Mio can't witness this. She'd be probably so excited about this. <laughs> Jet pack not jet feet? I don't know. Nice. And we missed, I think. No way, we hit, we hit, we hit, we hit. Oh, we did more than hit! That is a fucking hole right there. That is an ins I, I actually punctured him right there. I didn't- it was a little bit ambiguous how that kick landed, right? It was a little dark here. Yeah, right over here. That's a fucking hole, bro. Alright, bro got donutted. Finally a guy that got donutted instead of a girl this anime season. It's not really a donut, right? And he's back! And he's back! Bro, I think we're good. I think we're so good. Half open seven. Half open seven. What the fuck is he doing? He opened up the gates to hell, half of it only. Okay. Do we take any damage? I don't think so. This armor is crazy. Did it really? I don't think it did. <laughs> Warriors chance summon something? I told you my soldiers who I can't reach telepathically to use something. Giga Chad. <laughs> Bro could yell louder than telepathy can reach. <laughs> okay. What is it? You something. Woman in white who was the hero's companion. Woman in white who was the hero's companion. The hero in this context. Is it still naval stuff? Like still Hibiki stuff, right? I'm like, this is not Lily or anything. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the it's the naval stuff how she like, you know, basically put her life in the line and went like full, like all out or nothing. Yeah. There was a warrior's respect there. I remember. He literally like acknowledged there and was like, My name is Eo, the demon commander. Tell me your name, right? It's the warrior's respect. That's why I like Eo a lot. I love dudes like this. Like, I don't think he's necessarily bad. He's just so righteous. I enjoy him. So if he uses this. This is the thing that's gonna kill him if he uses it, right? It's all out for a certain amount of minutes, and then you're done. He's doing this right now. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a death sentence to everybody. So he told every one of his minions outside too to also use it. This is all a suicide pact right now. But I wonder why it's a rose. You know? Why is it a rose? Master, yeah. And then we'll all die after. I'll see you in hell. Uh -oh. He became more red. He became more red and then more veins on the head. Yeah, we might be cooked, but we have some kind of weakening. So I wonder if that was an anticipation of this happening. Probably not, because Makoto was surprised to see what this was was and had to have, you know, a uh, fucking larva right now, you know, explain it to us. So open seven, half hell or something, release some kind of miasma, which is a weakening. So wouldn't it be hilarious if everyone's still like, like, if you're 2xing this, but the weakening halves it, what if they're just back to normal? You know what I mean? Oh my god, Onei-chan. Cameraman. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's great. Don't, don't even need to see Hibiki's face, bro. But what do I need to see Hibiki's face for, bro? Alright, make yourself useful. No, they're not allowed to leave? Their safety is more important. No, you might end up dying outside. We can't have that happening. Protect the hero. Take back Bella. You're gonna get in some shit. These are death flags. Every one of that was death flags.
Wait, is he gonna let them go after seeing Magato and his students? There was no reason to this kind of dude, this pose, girl. There was no need, but she fucking did it, bro, by instinct, man. Alright. I'll consider it as in it's not a real thing. <laughs> what if they break and it's so like, yeah, no, you're gonna fucking stay here. Okay, hero, do it. <laughs> Come on, this is what your powered up state? The sword might end up shattering, bro. There is no need to do that. There's. There's. <laughs> they, 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 this is so intense, though. They are 100% making her feel defeated to fall on four knees like that. Like, 100% intentional, bro. <laughs> Feel bad for how bad Hibiki's just getting whored out this episode. <laughs> yeah? Classic main character desiring power moments? What is this? Oh shit, did the goddess fucking listen to her wishes and now she's gonna be granted powers or something? What's going on? What's going on here? Wait, oh, that's not the moon god, is it? That almost sounds like roots, but is that the moon god? This sounds like Roots, right? I thought this might be the fucking Earth God or something, the, you know, the, the Moon God, but like, it sounds like Root, right? Why is he here now? <laughs> Still on the ground, okay. Roots knows her identity, yeah? Trashy, trash Moki. Wait, what did he just say? What did he just say? Wait, wait, there's something implied here. Also came here in this dimension. Is this where... Is, is this where the atomic power exactly? Root probably offered him that power. Because, like, knowing Root, he created the level system so that humans would get greedy and ambitious to call themselves. He fucking hates them, right? Or maybe he feels indifferent. So I feel like totally it's possible that Root was given... Sorry, Root gave the nuke power to him. He didn't suffer from the radiation, I guess. So it's... I don't know. I thought that maybe he gave him some powers that's gonna make him, I don't know, suffer. But yeah, I could totally see it, right? What did they do to earn this? She didn't do shit. What a trash Moki trade for the nuke. Okay, what are we gonna do with job interview? What color am I? <laughs> I don't know why. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> What color are you? What's the color of your skin color? Color of her panties? No shot. No shot. It was fucking color of her panties, bro. Black. Why? There's a color system. Ranking of colors. The fuck? This is specific to roots. What is this tier list, root? I'm so interested. Tomoki was also black. Why? What color is Makoto? Yeah. What is the Norio? What? That's bullshit! So if you can't get an attack, then some kind of support, some kind of buff, utility. Maybe there's some cracked utility or buff or some support we can get here. Can I have an ability as broadly as defined as one that conquers the world? <laughs> this girl thinking, she's like, hmm, how do I ask for the most hack powers? Fuck, let me think about it. How about conquering the world? Does that concept make sense? You know what? That's a pretty good answer, right? It's very broad. It's not specified, so it could be a monkey's paw kind of situation where, yes, the outcome will be something like that, but not in the way you expect it, but... A power that conquers the world. There's many different ways of conquering the world. Power of friendship. Power of power. Power of fan service. I don't know. I don't think she's gonna get what she wants, though. All your mana. 
and 80% of life in the world. Are you saying we need to sacrifice 80% of living beings in that world that we live in for this power to exist? We can just do that? Who designates 80% of our world? The population is about to get fucking culled. And if you don't have that many people, then I guess it's fucking easy to conquer, huh? I don't know. If the translation's off here, I'm not really sure. But, like, that's an insane thing. And is she gonna say yes? Okay, okay. Dispels all spells. Root straight up like, listen, girl. Don't waste this one shot. Come on. You can fucking learn that on your own. Come on. You can do better. <laughs> Why? I doubt he'll ever come here. It almost felt like Tomoki and... You know, Hibiki was summoned here because they qualify for something, right? Root said you were you were like um you earned your right to be in this different plane of dimension, but Makoto will never do that because he was never desperate to call out for power because he's also so cracked. Because it did seem like when Hibiki was like, yeah, she's doing the classic shonen anime thing. It's like, if only I had Chikara. And then, you know, fucking, oh, you want power here? It fucking is. But okay. No, power to rewrite logic. I think Anos' power is fucking stupid. Reality changing marble, whatever I decide, my imagination, I want the logic to be changed at my own will. That is very flexible. I don't think that's necessarily an attack, but it could be, and it's very OP, right? Emotions of others to strengthen myself. Are they cheering for you, or are you making them cheer for you so then you get the powers? What's going on? Emotions into power. Positive and negative emotion? Is she charismatic? Is she charismatic? Maybe I'm doing her dirty because we've only seen her be compared to really godlike figures in this world, and relative to everyone else, she probably is super charismatic. Mana is capped, but we get buff, depending on emotion of friends. No, Ryoku! Cheer for me, everybody! Applaud! Sing! Fucking sing for me, fans! And then I'm gonna become powerful! Yeah. She's glowing! <laughs> She's already glowing, but yes. I feel like they need to do better animation for scenes like this because it just doesn't do her like it does. There's no but here. Don't even say wood or gear. What do you mean? This is a definition of Ella Mayo. Laugh my ass off. This is the definition of laugh. She laughed her fucking ass off, bro. Animators needs to really put more effort into booty cheek animation, in my opinion. Unfortunately, the only anime right now that has good booty cheek animation is Dainana Oji. I don't know why they gave the kid a BBL, but it is what it is. <laughs> Amazing! Wow! Alright, they're off. Master! From above? There was that ding 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 ding. What from above? Rainbow above goddesses people? What what is this shit? Other forces, other, other nations? What? Sophia Bulga? Lance? Who's coming? I love EO to be honest. What is this shit? Hello? Allies. So I'm gonna assume Lancer and Sophia? What are the skills we have in this suit? What? What? 
when a hero equal to the enemy appears, when you have someone as strong as the hero or something, you can dispel all their fucking thing. I mean, we were just talking about how Makoto has dispel and Hibiki was wanting dispel, but Mio built something in so we can dispel the rose shit, right? And if we dispel the rose shit, then maybe we can save Eo and he doesn't have to die. Rose. Alright, let's save Eo. He became less red. Sophia! Oh shit. Yeah, this incantation is long as fuck. <laughs> no, I maybe she was just fucking around. Etc. I don't get it. Dot dot dot. The rest of the fucking script, whatever it is. <laughs> oh fuck! Opening! Opening! Right in the opening, this is how his helmet got shattered with Sophia slashing it. It was true! And the ending's playing now. Here goes the ending. But Mono Matter now! And that is also the episode. Skimichi has been fucking delivering recently, man. Holy fuck. There was a lot of buildup for this to happen, but like we are in the payoff phase where every episode is just like, mm, 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 bro. Oh my god. The battle with EO, pretty good. Bro was holding it down while we're in Sentai mode, but I guess, you know, the Sentai mode, we don't really know our skills, so we're just getting calibrated to our power, and EO was using the gauntlets, but we were kind of fucking around. Looks like the durability of this suit is insane, unless Makoto was using some kind of mono matter within the suit to, you know, take the impact. But I think that it was intentional that he wasn't using anything that could be traced back to him because we want to hide our identity. Why? Not to fight the hero, but most likely the goddess. There was a very interesting moment with Hibiki crying out for power, and she got transported into this different realm where time does not flow at the same time. And Root is there to ask you, What's your panty color? Black? Shit, that's the best color. All right, choose whatever power you want, but you can't take an attack power because Trash Moki took it. The power of using emotions to get stronger. It's a little bit vague. Is it positive emotions or negative emotions? What kind of emotions fuels it? But she basically sacrificed her max mana cap to become stronger with buffs like that. Power of friendship. I guess it's good. Honestly, I would have asked for a fun kind of... I would have asked, you know, for a power of rewriting logic. Whatever I think will just happen and stuff like that. It's a bullshit power. I know because I watch Misfit of Demon King Academy and Anos does that shit all the time. It's the most fucking broken ass shit. I think it'd be hilarious. And Makoto will never go there. Why? Because he just never is that desperate or ever is pushed to this point to the brink of, you know, doom to, you know, call out on whoever runs this place. I guess, I guess Root does. I don't know, but that's a very interesting thing. Something about the colors, black being the best, it's like every color. What color would Makoto be? Maybe no color. Who fucking knows? But that's pretty much it. And then Eo is pretty much saved, right? Hibiki and them are going out to, you know, save the people against the demons. And hopefully they don't fucking, you know, they need Shiki to babysit. And then Lancer and Mitsurugi. It's looking like this is the conclusion or like the peak climax of this arc. We got Lancer and Mitsurugi versus... Well, Mitsurugi isn't here, but, you know, Sophia Volga versus Makoto as round two of this fight. Hinata versus Rimuru? Or Sophia versus Makoto? What's better? Oh, we gotta start some fucking controversy next episode. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.